Hey guys, King Gaff here with Bethesda Mod School. So today we're going to continue with the Sim Settlements Builders Toolkit. And like I said before, if you're not interested in building for Sim Settlements, I still advise you to go through these exercises because they'll teach you just random little things about the creation kit that can really help you down the line. So this obviously assumes you went through the Sim 101 tutorial, which shows you how to make a building plan, and so that you then will have a building plan or two that you're ready to get integrated with the Sim Settlement. So the goal of this particular tutorial is to show you how to set your, your building plans up so that they automatically register with Sim Settlements, and then they'll be available from the Choose Building Plan menu on the ACM sensor. So this is basically the what you would need, just these first, tutorial, two, first two tutorials from the uh, Sim series of tutorials will allow Allow you to release an add-on pack it's that it's that little of work uh, to get these actual things done obviously you've got to go do all the work of building your building designs and plugging them into the actual building plan records but uh, just these two tutorials is all you're gonna need to start releasing uh, in add-on pack so uh, the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna set up what are called form lists so a form list is essentially just what it sounds like it's a list of forms and as you know from some of the earlier tutorials everything in the in the creation kit in a plugin is essentially a form um, so in the case of our building plans we have this one i created in the last tutorial i, I have my old uh, add-on 101 test add-on from last week i've got that opened up right now and uh, this building plan record here is a form and we're going to put it in a, a list so to create a new list you're going to expand miscellaneous so i'm going to go ahead in my uh, object window up here and then you're going to click on uh, form list under the miscellaneous and you're going to right click on the right hand side click new and that'll bring up this uh, formless window so then as with everything else you need to enter in a unique ID so I'm gonna call this KG test uh, now before we go any further one thing you'll know is that just about everything that you create for sim settlements each type of thing will end up needing its own formless this is kind of how some settlements handles add-on packs so in the case of plot building plans you will need one list for each plot type so uh, for example one type would be residential two by twos so that's the one we created for this building plan so that's what we're going to create so i'm going to just call this uh we'll call this bp list and then we'll call it residential two by two so if you had done interior residential you you could do residential interior here or if you had done one of the other types such as commercial two by two or agricultural three by three whatever it is you'll need a list for each of those different types and this is how some settlements will differentiate which one which of your building plans are for which type when it's registering your plugin so uh, we're going to go ahead and name it that so residential two by two because that's the building plan we did and then you can leave this open and, and i'm taking advantage of multiple object windows and if you don't recall how to do that you just right click in any object window and hit create new uh, and then i'm going to go to expand items click on misc item and i'm going to filter for my building plan here and then you just drag your building plans form record so you just grab onto this and drag it into the form list and there you go you can see that the kg test building plan is now in my form list and then i'm going to hit ok and you'll see here in the form list because i already have it filtered on kg test there's my new form list now if i went back and created additional building plans later so we'll just duplicate this just for the sake of uh, showing you how it works uh, and i'll rename that and you can just add more by again dragging them in so you open this up and then i just take my new one and add it in one thing to know about form lists is each item can only be in there one time uh, this is useful to know if you were thinking about using form lists as a way to bypass array limits and if you have no idea what that means what i'm just talking about that's a coding thing and uh, some anybody who's played around with papyrus scripting it knows about the there's a limitation in the coding in the uh, scripting you do with the game and uh, some people assume this might be a way to bypass it but it isn't exactly because you can only have each thing in here once so if you didn't understand what i was talking about with the ray stuff don't worry about it uh, just know that if you need to add additional building plans to your form list just open it up and just drag them right in there all right so now we've got our building plan now i don't want to leave that copy in there twice because then there'll be just two of the exact same building plans so i'm actually going to delete that out to to remove something out of a form list you just select it and push the delete key on your keyboard or you can right click it actually no i guess it's just the delete key on your keyboard i assumed there was a delete option on the right click because generally there is but in this case there's not all right so we're going to just remove our one there all right so now the next step we need to do is we're going to set up what's called a control quest so many of you assume probably that a quest 
is something that you do in the game that uh, you get the objective, you know, to go talk to so-and-so or kill so-and-so or collect some items. Those are quests as well, but generally in the creation kit, a quest is basically just a entity that's controlling things. So in this case, I call these control quests. These are ones that the play, these are quests the player isn't actually doing. These are just designed to handle things. And each add-on pack needs a control quest, which uh, you'll see that I have one here called KG Sim Add-on Template. Now this is included in some settlements. So if you've got your add-on pack loaded that you've started from the last tutorial, uh, you can search for template when you have quests selected. So expand character. Click on quest and then filter for template and you should find this KG Sim add-on template. So basically what this is going to do when we create our copy is it will it tells Sim Settlements about your particular add-on pack and it'll take all of your stuff you've created and sends it up to Sim Settlements. So that's how this particular thing is going to work. So the add-on template is uh, a quest I've pre-configured that has the appropriate script on it and is set up to run automatically to make this a lot easier on you guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to find this KG Sim add-on template. We're going to right click it and hit duplicate. And then we're going to go ahead and rename it, and we'll name it uh, KG Test uh, Add-on. And you can use your prefix instead, um, and then uh, open it up after you've done that. So once you've got it duplicated and renamed, so both most of these scene or these uh, tabs here are designed for the type of quests that players do. So the ones that players are actually involved with. So for example, scenes are dialogue scenes. A lot of this stuff, all these scene collections, combat favors, these are all dialogue things. The uh, quest data and quest stages and quest objectives, these all tend to have to do with what the player is actually doing and involved in where they're getting feedback in the UI for what they're doing. So, for example, it might a quest stage might be stage one is that the quest started and then stage 10 is that the player talked to an NPC, etc. We don't need any of that for this. And for our particular control quest and for many of these controller quests, you tend to just do everything with scripts. So in this case, I've already set up a script on here to save you some time. So just go to the scripts tab and then you're going to double click on this Sim Settlements add-on script. And this is going to bring up your property window. Now there's a whole lot of stuff on here and you don't have to do much with this. So if you're if you're creating your first add-on pack, don't worry about all these things. Just go to the ones that you're actually using. So in the case of our tutorial example where last week we created uh, that residential building plan, we're going to just go down here and we're going to find residential buildings and we're going to just double click that. So my residential buildings. And you'll see that there are two entries here. Now one thing that's a little confusing is that there's one called size A. Well size A was what the two by twos were called in the original release of Sim Settlements, and unfortunately for backwards compatibility cases, I was not able to change that to say two by two there. Um, so just know if you ever see the reference to size A anywhere, it's referring to the two by twos. In reality, uh, for a little backlog information on Sim Settlements, originally when the plots were released, the size they came up with, with was very arbitrary. It was it was about one and a half by one. It was a very awkward size, and that was just due to me not fully understanding the grid at the time and. I had based these plot sizes just based on the building designs I'd done. I didn't base them on how players would actually make use of them. And so after a few patches, realized that it was it was silly to not have the plots line up nicely with the grid. So I redesigned them to fit up nice, fit nicely with that. And that's where the two by two uh, nomenclature came from. So if you see size A, it just means two by two. So if you're not doing residential, you can expand the appropriate type. So you'll notice there's a subcategory for each of the different plot types. Uh, in our case, we want residential two by two or size A's. We're going to call that. So we're going to find that one. And we're going to double click it, and that's going to let us select a form list. So now we want to basically point to the form list we created there. So we can filter for that. So we'll just type in uh, our prefix KG test, and you'll see that in my case only that one is there. So we'll select that from the list, and we press OK and OK again, and we're basically done now. That's all it takes to get your stuff registered with Sim Settlements. So uh, after doing that, if you load your plugin into the game, it will take a few moments before your plugin actually loads. So whenever you add a bunch of add-on packs to Sim Settlements, each time you load your game or a player loads their game, Sim Settlements has to take all of these add-on packs, combine all of their building plans, and get them together. So if you've ever found that shortly after loading the game, if you go in Sim Settlements to one of the plots and click the choose building plan option on one of the ASAM sensors, it might take a moment before all of the building plans appear. Or it could be that when you first do it, 
certain building plans are missing and that's normal uh, it can take two or three minutes before all of them register so the best thing you can do is just give it a little time after you load your game or for the sake of testing your own add-on packs you might want to just disable all the other add-ons and just, so that way yours loads very very quickly and that way you'll know that uh, yours is working so you don't have to waste a lot of time waiting for it each time you load the game so we're going to go ahead and cut here we'll cut back into the game and i'll show you that my building plan uh, test option there is showing up on the asim sensor all right, so we're now in the game, and uh, I've waited a few minutes to make sure that uh, the new plugin has registered. So we're going to go up to one of my plots here. We're going to click on the ASAM sensor, and go to choose building plan. And you're, if you already have your plot built like I do here, then you are going to have to answer OK, destroy it to this, which is just warning you your plot's going to get reset if you pick a new building plan. Um, and uh, if you're just looking for steps on playing some settlements, if you exit out after this without selecting one, it won't destroy your current building all right so then we're going to go find our building plan now uh, if you remember from the last tutorial i did prefix it with kgt there it is so kgt test house so we're going to go ahead and select that answer build this and then exit and then uh, momentarily we should see this guy get destroyed and then the building from before pop up which is just our little basic box with a bed so we'll let that uh, pop up and while that's doing its thing while it's constructing uh, I do want to make a note about uh, the, the quest you just created if you decide to go back and add more things to your add-on for example you want to add other plot types and new buildings and stuff you would always still use that exact same add-on quest so those steps you did at the beginning where we just duplicated that add-on template and made our own quest you only have to do that one time and then you just keep editing the scripts to add on your additional form lists and for additional buildings in the same form list like i showed you earlier in this tutorial you just open up that form list and drag those new building plans on now the nice thing about that add-on script method is that as we introduce new mechanics into some settlements if you want to extend your add-on pack and add support for them it's always real easy to do it tends to just follow that exact same pattern of you build out your records add them to a form list and then point that form list to the appropriate script property and you'll see that a lot of add-on packs that have been around for a long time uh, like industrial city or wasteland ventures or any of the mini by you at you at you'll notice that they tend to get updated over time where they just keep adding support for additional features and you'll be able to do the same you can keep adding more and more stuff using that exact same quest so as you see, our uh, building has appeared and we didn't have to run any console commands. So once you've got it in that form, your plugin is ready for release. And while we don't cover that in this particular video, we'll get to that eventually. I will walk you through how you can upload a mod to uh, Bethesda.net or to the Nexus. But there are steps available for that in the creation kit. So if you're already this far along and you were just waiting to figure out how to get your stuff working in a way that would be friendly to players, you're done. You're ready to go uh, get your buildings out there released to the world. Um, so this was a short tutorial and I want to try and do stuff like this more often just keep these little nuggets of useful information and uh, on days I do this I will likely release additional tutorials. So all right guys good luck with your add-on packs. I can't wait to see what you all release.